Hmm. I'll pass for today. I haven't come to school in a while, so I'd like to talk with some of our friends. Okay. See you tomorrow. That's the plan. Bye. Talk to other friends. Hmm. I was... No, I shouldn't pry. This muffin is delicious. Mmm. Being in a town full of rich people really does feel like feel lacking somehow. Lots of people at school are rich too. My family isn't exactly poor, but I still have my reasons for wanting a job. I'd be happy with anything new. Anything that might broaden my horizons. I have a feeling it might help me change. Oh yeah, life lessons. It's really quality. This muffin is nice. There are lots of people here. Even compared to a few months ago, it's noticeably different. Just walking to the station would be a challenge. If it's like this during the day, it would be even worse in the evening. Come to think of it, it's already October. It'll be time for the festival soon. Of course it'll be. Of course, there'd be more people moving around. The entire city gets involved in that festival. So a lot of preparation is required. The bulletin board near the station had uh, lots of recruitment posters for festival-related part-time jobs. Looking for Harvest Festival temporary part-timers. 1,100 yen per hour. Waiters and waitresses needed. Students may apply. 750 yen an hour. Part-time barkeeps needed for Harvest Festival. Part-time construction jobs uh, starting November 1st. 950 yen per hour. Would you like to work part-time this Harvest Festival? We need help organizing the outdoor music events. Harvest Festival temporary event staff to 1,200 yen an hour. Come to think of it, most of these festival jobs are to fulfill emergency needs. They'll look pretty nice. That just means it will be a tough job. I don't mind if it's tough. I'm willing to do all sorts of manual labor. But I've already got a, I've already scheduled an appointment. It's almost time. Muffin. That concludes the interview. Should we contact you by phone? Yes, that's fine. Okay. Good evening then. Goodbye. Interview went well. I choose a part-time job as a column writer in a local magazine. It was a strange magazine. So all they wanted me to do was write something interesting twice a month. Make, it, make fun articles using a plethora of images. I have to find material on my own. Any interesting event or something the writer is interested in. in. Apparently anything goes. They valued the writer's enthusiasm over the material itself. They say if the writer can't get their passion across, nothing else matters. It's kind of like a blog. So it's not much of a stable income source. I get some money each time I submit an article. Personally, I'd like that kind of relaxed business model. Not only that, the young editor I was talking to is a uh, alumni, alumni of my school. I don't know. I was nervous at first, but by the end I was getting really into it. I'd like to think I made an impression there. It's still evening? There's still some time left before it gets dark. Not that I have anything to do. Actually, he said in the interview that digital camera would be really good for this job. I'd borrow one of them, but it'd be a pain to get it every time. If it's not that expensive, I might as well go buy one now. I guess I'll get my savings out and go buy a camera. Oh, yay! There's a cat here. Added a number to your contact list. Uh, amigo? We c I can be friends with this cat. No, not that desperate, really. Fair enough. Uh, what else? I refuse. There's a band performing there. Everyone gets popular doing something like that. I'd like to be popular. 
God, is this like literally just like a prequel to Haganai? This is Haganai if Haganai was made by the Clannad and Canon people. I think it's Clannad and Canon, I'm not sure. There's a crow here. I didn't know your contacts. Amigo! I can be friends with the crow. No, I'm not that desperate. Really, I can get at least a human friend. This is really sad. Uh, so yeah, uh, fun fact, last episode, it's made of like seven videos, that's, yeah, that's not good. Um, this is the bus heading for the station, Kazamatsuri has a lot of buses. I wonder if I'll ever leave this town. A lot of software. Mm. Half of them are not open yet. It's far from complete. Lots of office buildings. That's not what I wanted to do. I wonder if I'll if I'll be a salary man in the future. Being a civil servant might be nice. Either that or a comedian. That place is huge. Cleaning the windows must be a pain. Another band. There are tons of them here. Wait, is she knows that the vocalist of that one? Oh, that's cool. I don't know what this does. Oh, okay. I'm not very good at this. Uh. I'll walk around aimlessly for a while. Nothing jumps out at me. I have no way of telling which of the cameras on display are any good. I might have to do some research first. I should probably go home. But right now, I'm in an unfamiliar alley. This place doesn't feel right. There's lots of young ruffians here. Some of them are sitting down against the wall and laughing, and others are practicing their dancing. These people all live in a different world from me. Nothing good will come from talking to them. I'll just walk by them. Hey boy, wait up. That was fast. This man is so huge, I have to look up at him. Maybe I shouldn't have come here in my rich boy school out uniform. What is it? Look. The man has a flame tattoo on his face. That's an impressive tattoo. Not that. Look at this. Are all bargains. The man was running a shop. There are all sorts of devices on display. Boy, I can tell by your face that you want a digital camera. If you're right. You want it for work or a blog, and you want photos better than you, than your cell phone can take. Yes? How about this one? You can have it for cheap. That looks expensive. It's a price. Man smirks. Face of a man who kills people on a daily basis. It's on special right now. For only 50,000 yen. Uh, how about it? You can even use your student loan for it. No, my budget's a little, um... Sorry. I run away. Hey, what up? I'm almost... I almost bought some horrible Chinese knockoff product. Back alley's a really scary place. After walking for a while, I find another shop. The owner here is smiling gently. It has lots of cameras on display. I can tell this is the right place. How much for a digital camera? A thousand yen. No way. This place is godly. Thank you very much. You can have free for two thousand. Well, that's a huge discount. I was eighty percent taken in by him. Wait a sec. W what? A man appeared, wearing contemporary clothing. Oh, that's a knockoff, you know. He points to the camera. A low-quality copy made in a foreign country. An illegal one at that. Look at the bottom of the box. I look. Very tiny letters that said this. This product is a joke designed to resemble a high-quality digital camera. Even the warnings are terrible. Right? I put the camera back. And the man picked it up. It's a well-made fake, though. 
been a lot of suspicious types around here lately, old oh man. <laughs> what are you talking about? It's fine. If someone gets deceived this easily, it's their own fault. But I happen to know that kid, so I'd like it if you don't pull one over on him. Uh, <laughs> well, um, thanks. It's fine, it's fine. I just couldn't stand to watch you get fooled so easily. But you said you knew me. Uh, I was just making stuff up. I thought so. Is that uniform what I think it is? Yeah, I'm Tenoshi, his second year. Hmm. Looks at me from top to bottom, as if there's something odd about me. Tenoshi kun. What? <laughs> Nothing. What are you doing here? Looking for a digital camera? Oh, you actually were looking for one? Yeah, for my part time job. Hmm, a job? Is it. 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 Is it one of those Harvest Festival jobs? Yeah, one of those. Well, I guess you can save up enough for a camera by doing one of those. That's right. I see. So, that's what you're like, Tenoji kun Yeah, what about it? No, no, nothing. I see, I see. Okay. You're a serious student, then. He seems to figure something out on his own. Eh? If you're after a camera, that tattoo guy earlier would would be a good bet. Seriously? Seriously. He does that for fun. I know his stuff is good. This is a flea market, so he usually doesn't have the latest models, but everything he does is have is in high quality. So, 50000 is actually a fair price for one of those things? Wait, this is a flea market? Technically, yeah. Though their customers all look like gangsters, so people seem to think it's a slum. Well, there have been a lot of suspicious guys here lately, so try not to get tricked too easily. Bye. The man walks off. I didn't even ask his name, but he feels familiar somehow. I don't think I've met him before. Have I seen him somewhere? No matter how much I think about it, I can't remember him. Oh well. I decide to head home after that. It's now October the 5th, and it's a Tuesday. I ran out of soda. The alarm clock rings. Half asleep, I unleash an attack um, upon the source of the noise as it stops. I wake up. Uh, I sleep. Fair enough. Uh, and that's why I was almost late today. It happens sometimes. So is that better? I thought you were trying out a new style. Hmm. She hands me a mirror. Yeah. I didn't have time to fix that. I'd better go to the bathroom later and straighten it. <sighs> Suddenly I notice Yoshino staring at me with his arms folded, leaning back in his chair. What, you don't want to join our fun conversation morning conversation morning? Shut up. A usual reaction. I'll have to give up on having an in intimate talk with Yoshino for now. Yoshino, you you feel like a samurai. He does. <laughs> Yoshino lowers his eyes and acts uninterested. He feels like he'd fight alongside a guy in a red jacket. Ah, I think I know what you mean. He'd be the one cutting through steel. Your mouth loosened a bit. Are you happy? Shut up! Be quiet! Teacher comes in after the bell, and, but the students keep talking instead of running to their seat. Everyone's talking about the same thing. Transfer student who was supposed to arrive yesterday. Chair and desk were pro procured yesterday, but they're still sitting in the corner without an owner. Teacher could probably tell that's what they were talking about, so he didn't scold anyone. I wonder if she'll come today. Maybe the teacher's just putting on a weird show. Eh? <laughs> but I still want to know. The teacher's plan is to have the transfer students arrive when everyone's eager to see her, and it's working perfectly on Katori. 
Well, I did meet her yesterday. Eh? You did? Well, all I did was bump into her on the hill and guide her to the sa staff room. Wait, I didn't do the second part. So I've only seen her in the staff room so far. Oh, so Katara's uh, the number one transfer student escort. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, but I didn't escort, escort her. If anything, I made her hate me in less than half an hour. Okay, everyone, please sit down and let's get started. Teacher looks around as if this time, as if the time is ripe. Yes. You should know this lying face down on his desk. Hey, you she. You want to hear about the transfer student? Don't talk to me like that. I couldn't care less. Use that nickname in front of me again and you'll be lying on a bed hospital. I want to tell him that lying on a bed sounds rather erotic, but I've changed the topic too much. You say that, but you still want to know, don't you? I can tell. You don't know a thing about me. But don't you want to know just a little? I said no, and I meant it. How did you feel when we called you a samurai? I didn't feel anything. Don't compare me to you. He's really mad. Odyssey, Odyssey. Odyssey? Oh, that's funny. You keep mocking me. Everything you do is ag aggravating. Why don't I beat the living crap out of you until you become a transfer student too? Yoshinoku, please try to keep it down. We're starting homeroom. Damn! Interrupted again. He starts taking roll as usual, but the classroom can't quite calm down. Everyone's on the edge of their seats about the transfer student. Now I'll introduce you to the transfer student. Sorry to make you wait a whole day for this. Everyone, let's greet her with a round of applause. Ooh, says the old class. Even Yoshino is looking at the door now. Okay, transfer student, come on in! The classroom begin becomes even more excited. The transfer student, Otori-san, enters quietly. Ah, it doesn't feel interesting anymore since I've met her already. I look to one side. Yoshino's face is on his desk again. He must have been satisfied after seeing her face. Look, Yoshino, it's Otori-san, the transfer student. Huh. Tenojikun, no spoilers. Sorry. Crap, now everyone's annoyed at me for ruining the mood. Uh, so, as for Otori-san... Tenoji? Eh. She didn't say this time, but she makes the geth face again. Uh, now she's glaring at me. Introduce yourself to everyone! I'm... I'm otori the transfer student. Pleased to meet you all. That felt a little forced. And she seems disgusted by me. So pleased to meet you. But all the boys seem to think she's just tense, so they aren't bothered by it. Honestly, Atari does look cuter than the average girl. People do tend to expect something exceptional from transfer students, even though 99% of them are ordinary. <sighs> though the lawless guy over there has no interest in her. Hey, Yoshino. Atari sounds pretty cute. I don't care. That was blunt. I have no interest in yelling about it like all the idiots around us. No matter who the transfer student is. You only like ugly women anyway. Uh, uh, no! No! Eh? So you're gay. Who are you calling gay? People around us begin whispering, eh? So Yoshinoku's gay? Fucking hell. A certain group of girls started giving us weird looks. Like both of us. Crap. If you're a gay, then I'm the only love interest. If you dare stay, uh, start a Yoshino X Tenoji fandom, then I will have to kill you. Yoshino kun, you seem weirdly familiar with this. Shut up. Stay away from me. Bam! Right in the kisser. He kicks me. Right in the kisser. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. Also, there's been some difficulty getting her a new uniform, so she'll be wearing this one for a while. Please don't pry about it. As for your seat, might as well use the one in the back until we get another chance. This video is going to have to be 20 minutes long because my computer can't take this anymore. I'll see you next month.